Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going to look at how to create snapshots, LUN snapshots on a EMC VNX. So we're all good to go. You've got it installed. You've logged in via Unisphere. We want to go into our storage area here and into LUNs. Now, by default, you're going to have some LUNs. If you don't, create some LUNs, add them to a storage pool and to a storage group if you need to. So there's a few LUNs in here and we want to create some snapshots of these LUNs. So a snapshot is essentially going to take a pointing time copy of your LUN that you can restore at a later stage. Why would you want to do this, you ask? Well, if you want to, say, migrate a LUN or if you're doing some major changes on a LUN and you just want to ensure that you can put a pointing time so that in case something goes wrong, you can revert back. That is really the point of having the LUNs, uh, ha having the snapshots for your LUNs. So, very simply, you select the you select the LUN itself. You right click on the LUN, and we want to go down to snapshot and create snapshot. In here, you're presented with a few options. You can create a name for that particular snapshot and also a description as well. Click on show advanced and you can have some further options. You can allow read and write on that LUN, allow the deletion automatically based on pool auto delete threshold settings. So when you're creating a pool, you can actually set uh, LUNs to be deleted automatically and you can also set an expiration. So we're going to say allow read and write an expiration and we want it to expire after 10 days. Okay, actually, let's go after one month. After one month, this will expire and you're good to go. So we're going to say, okay, you selected read and write. The snapshot will be created with right protection. Okay, without, sorry, without right protection. So as long as you're aware of that, you're good to go. Okay, so this is just more to protect your snapshots from, from um, being deleted by accident. And we say, okay. So that has now created or it's creating a snapshot of that particular LUN. To manage those snapshots, you go into the data protection area on the top and we go to snapshots. So you will see right here, VM primary 10, which is the LUN that we just snapshotted. You can click on this. It'll show you the date when it was done, the creation time, the name that we gave it. Uh, it's a snapshot and it will expire at, at this particular day. Nice and easy, very easy to create a snapshot of your LUN. So you can then go ahead and create a further snapshot if you want to create another pointing time. All right. You can do things like copy the snapshot. So you can make an exact copy of that same snapshot. The attach feature lets you attach that snapshot to a host. So if you have a LUN presented to a host, um, and you can then present a second LUN of that snapshot to that host, so you can actually have LUNs and the snapshot of the LUN presented. So you can actually see the differences between the LUN, for example. You can then detach it likewise. You can restore. This is if you have, okay, you've gone, you've made a mistake and you have to restore your LUN. You can select that and say restore and it will restore that LUN and overwrite the LUN that's on there. It obviously will give you a warning saying, are you sure you want to do this? Because the entire contents of the LUN will change to the point in time where the snapshot had been restored. So we'll say no to this one. All right, you can go ahead and create a group. Helps you create a snapshot consistency group, all right, which is actually pretty handy. We're not gonna go into the specifics on how to do this. Um, yes, we wanna cancel. You can delete the snapshot, all right, delete. Yes, I wanna delete that snapshot. I no longer want the snapshot for VM primary 10. It'll then go and remove that particular snapshot Okay, you'll see there's a couple of other snapshots on here. One of them is set to expire. All right, you can go and click on the properties. You can see some information regarding that snapshot. Uh, you can see the source, where did it come from, etc., etc. It was 100 gig and that is it. So that is the simple view on how to create snapshots for your VNX. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.